everyone, it's Jessie. In today's video, I'm so, so excited for because I just got back from a massive vacation that was two weeks long. I went to England, Poland, France, Norway, and Sweden. So those are the five places I went. It was the trip of a lifetime. I had so much fun. And along the way, I managed to pick up some books. So this video is gonna be a mini haul. Unfortunately, there was a lot more books that I wanted to get because there were new books that interested me. And then there were also books that I love and wanted in the different languages or the different covers that they had where they were but alas I think I only got like five books maybe so without further ado let's get into this haul and the reason that I couldn't get that many books is because obviously they wouldn't fit in my packing in my suitcase because it was a two week long trip so like I need clothes but I also wanted books <laughs> This isn't gonna be in any particular order, I guess. One of the books that I picked up was Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Now, this is a pretty fairly recent release. It's the third book in the Illuminate trilogy, and I love that series. I haven't read the third one yet. I need to read it, but I really wanna reread the first two first. I absolutely adore this sci-fi trilogy. It's so unique, so if you haven't picked it up, I definitely recommend that you do. I was actually pretty surprised because I found this street in London that has three bookshops on it, and they were all like antique or used bookstores and I found this as I was leaving the first used bookstore I went into and it was only three pounds so I snatched that because I didn't have the US version yet and I thought it would just be a fun and cool story to get the UK one at a used bookstore like I was so surprised to find it already in a used bookstore I was so happy to get this but it's really heavy so like that really weighted my suitcase <laughs> one of the next books I picked up I picked this up fairly close to the end of my trip because I wanted a new book to read on the plane ride home and stuff and like the last few days of the trip the book that I brought like wasn't interesting me too much so I wanted a new book to read. I had rewatched Me Before You on the flight to the UK and then I watched it like again during the trip because I went and visited one of the locations which you will see in my vlog. So I just I really wanted to continue with the Me Before You series. I have been putting it off for literally it seems like decades because I that book if you know if you read Me Before You it breaks your heart and you I couldn't even imagine there being a second book and I'm like how would that work? So I picked it up. I only read like the first 50 pages but I'm enjoying it so far and hopefully I get back into reading this. I really want to know more how Lou's life goes and how she is coping after- Beep. I almost spoiled. I caught myself. I'm not gonna spoil, but yeah, I want to know what happens in this series. If you know, you know. My heart. <laughs> Next up, I have this book. Oh, probably one of my favorite pickups from this trip. It is a Swedish version of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Now, I first saw this when I went into a comic book store, but it had a huge scratch and there was only one copy, and I'm like, I'm not gonna spend however much money it was to get a copy that was scratched because I want it in mint condition. Then, as we were like almost leaving Sweden, I spotted this bookstore and I ran inside and I found a copy and it happened to be a lot cheaper than the other one was too, so I was so pumped. So since this is my favorite Harry Potter book and I absolutely adore the cover and I love hippogriffs, I just thought that this would be a perfect book to add to my Harry Potter collection because I don't own any foreign editions and I just thought that this one was beautiful. Even though I can't read it because it's not in English, but I just, it's just, I love it so much. No regrets! even if my suitcase is almost to the weight limit. <laughs> in case you didn't know, my favorite story of all time since childhood is Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. I went into an antique bookstore. I was looking for an antique copy of Peter Pan and it, what they didn't have it in that bookstore. They had it in the one next door, which you will see next. But I did find this. Like I was just about leaving and I saw the word Barry and I'm like, <gasps> like immediately snatched it. And this book is, it's really old. It's a vintage book. It doesn't have anything on the front. It just has the title on the side. It says, The Story of a Genius by J.A. Hamerton. And it is literally a humongous book about the life of James M. Barry with like personal letters that he wrote and photographs and just, it's its so cool. I started reading the first few pages too, but I'm really scared to because like, there's a picture. It's a really fragile book and it smells real old. Like it's one of the oldest smelling books I've ever smelled. I had to get it. I think it was only eight pounds. I got it in London. I was just so happy, beyond words. Last but not least, this book is in a Ziploc bag because my mom is scared of the mold in it and she made me put it in a Ziploc bag. And it's also wrapped in bubble wrap and I carried this with me through every airport. Like I would not let it be packed away because I was so paranoid about it getting damaged. <sighs> This book, I cried. I walked into this bookstore, which I am making an entire video about, so after you watch this one, go check it out because I'm gonna be talking about this bookstore where I got this book. It is my favorite bookstore of all time. I picked up this. 
my dad got it for me and I'm forever grateful. It is greatest gift he could have ever given me. He saw how much I cried and the guy in the store saw how much I cried. So he's like, I can give you 10 pounds off the price because this book was not cheap. <gasps> This is a very, very early edition of what Peter Pan stemmed from by James M. Barry. On the front, that's little baby Peter with the pan flute. So there are early editions by J. M. Barry published. It's called Peter and Wendy. So there is this one edition that has a border around it. So this is the true edition of Peter Pan I've always wanted. It's so flippin' beautiful. This book like had its own box sleeve, but most editions don't have that, so that's really rare. They had this edition at that bookstore, but it wasn't in the best condition, so that's why I didn't get it. But this is the dream edition of Peter and Wendy that I've always wanted. It's a vintage edition. I've always wanted it and they had it there and I held it in my hands and I cried. I cried holding every edition like I was just sobbing my eyes out. They were all super expensive and the one that I loved that was my favorite wasn't in the best condition so I didn't want to waste money on a book I really wanted if it wasn't how I wanted it. So instead I got this. I got it in the original format. It has completely different character names and it's a lot darker than the Peter Pan story that we know and love. This book is called Peter Pan in Kensington Gardens. It is the very, very beginning of where Peter Pan was born from, but all the characters' names are different. I was flipping through it. It has original artwork and prints in it, and it's so old and so beautiful, and it's, it's literally like has mold spots within the pages and I'm scared to open it because it's just so so this book is over a hundred years old it just it means so much to me and I'm literally could not believe that I was in that bookstore I was so grateful for that experience and I will remember it for the rest of my life the second I saw the book in the window I started crying and the second it, they were placed in my hand I was just I was a goner so thank you dad for the greatest gift ever besides my life you know yeah it's amazing <laughs> So there were other books on my list that I did want to get on this trip. Again, I was limited on space and time. Like the one book that was at the top of my list to get as well that I wasn't able to get was the French edition of Six of Crows. I want that so bad. And next time I will be back. I love traveling and hopefully I will go back soon in the future because there are many amazing countries that I'd love to go to. That pretty much wraps it up for my abroad traveling European-ish book haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am Jessie, and I will see you next time. Bye! No! Not the most expensive book I own. Let's just set down my precious babies.